Lovely people of Edinburgh, please put your hands together and welcome to the stage the trusty hogs, Helen Bauer and Catherine Bauer! But Catherine was sick, so this is amazing. Sick. I was sick. Yeah, no, COVID. I don't like that exists. <laughs> no, it does, it does. Yeah, I know God. that. Hello, how are you? Are you well? <laughs> Good. Welcome to this a live version of Trusty Hogs, the podcast where we talk about what, Helen? Um, us, ourselves. Yes, <laughs> because our lives are thriving. Yes, and then we will have a guest on. Hi, Adele. Okay, stop, Hi, stop saying hello, DJ. It's Catherine's old house, mate. Yeah, we can't say that. What's up? Okay, we're focusing? I'm focused. Okay, and then... I had like three super sugary ciders That's and I feel worrisome. fucking lit as shit. Okay. And then also like, I like doubled down on hay fever tablets because I forgot I took Helen, one. Helen, no, I know. remember what we said? Set up the podcast before there we, we chat. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and then we're going to bring on our guest and then what are we going to do? Answer a list. There's no list problem. of questions. Are we doing it on stage? Yeah. A listener problem. Yeah. Given what happened last time. You are not allowed to lead it or say Salman Rushdie. <laughs> <laughs> For anyone who isn't aware, no, no, at no, this no, time no, don't last make, week, don't make them aware, I discovered on stage that Salman Rushdie <laughs> wasn't just the man who made a cameo in Bridget Jones' diary. <laughs> Live. He lives on. Right. Yeah! I don't even know if he's a good guy. Should we be cheering? Stop it, yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yay! Helen, what's wrong with your bra? Um, it smells like egg. Why? Because um, for anyone who has seen my show, thank you so much for coming. Who anyone hasn't, I keep a boiled egg in it peeled for 50 minutes. And don't look disgusted at your friend. Also, look at me with respect. Also, that's not the worst bit. Are you coming tomorrow? Spoilers. Okay. Spoiler alert, there's she an egg in it. my bra the whole time. She eats it. And and then she eats it. I keep it here, and now because of it, it's turned yellow. Oh. <laughs> And I know, like, you're supposed to wash hey, a bra, hey, but you're hey. not supposed to. Yes, you are. Show them. No, for the... Oh, do you... Wait? They didn't see. Um, you are supposed to wash your bras. Why have you not been washing your bra? Oh, my God, stop it. Wait, make it some... And that's ink. Is everyone having a good fridge? <laughs> ink. Yes, yeah, I don't have a lunchbox or a pencil. <laughs> going great. We're fine. The fringe is long. Um, okay. I just pulled out some sausage meat because today, today I couldn't find a boiled egg to put in my bra for the show so I you peeled got a scotch, scotch egg. egg. You're disgusting. <laughs> I knew it was before you said I was like, you're a fucking pig. All right. <laughs> that is Why does everyone look so upset with me? <laughs> Sorry, Helen. we should believe women in 2022 Helen. and that's my choice. <laughs> Today, uh, right before my show, I got locked in my house. Okay, tell me this, yeah. I just ran into Nish and he half told me. <laughs> so I got locked in my house, and then I showed up to my own show seven minutes late, my own show. Then on the way to the stage, I have to take my jacket off. I am sweating profusely. I am, I think it's fair to say, manic. And Nish Kumar, very kind, they came to see my show. Problem is, um, he was just laughing at me while everyone else was waiting for a bunch of times. <laughs> and um, it was very stressful. You must have wanted to kill yourself. No, truly, I, you hate I, being I, I hate being late. I hate being <laughs> off um, my game, and it was terrible. And I had a really bad time. You know and what? Then, it reminds me of Em and Andrew when she was late the other day to come and do a recording, and she got really upset too. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> Uh, he's, I mean, I mean, he's stalking me today. Should we bring him up? Can you just tell me how you got locked in there? I want to tell you when he's on. When he's on yeah. the stage. Yeah, Nish, get up here! Nish, come on! Nish, come on! Yeah. 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 He's on yeah. Nish. He's on. Hello, welcome. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Hello, hello, oh. hogs. Hello, oh. hogs. Hello, hello. Snort like a pig. Snort like a pig. I don't, I don't <laughs> like this <laughs> seating configuration. <laughs> Welcome I feel to your... genuinely like the bullied one in Lord of the Flies already. <laughs> and I've Piggy. literally just been sat, I feel like Piggy and the hogs are about to blow the conch and beat the living shit out of me. Yes, please. I don't like you two being in stereo. <laughs> Welcome to your initiation. How would Thank he you do it? I show. think I'd hold him down and you do jabs. Yeah, that 
makes sense. That makes sense. That you've played about the worst ranks. I'm much more cruel, and she's just able to hold you down. Ah, Can I just say that I went to support my friend <laughs> Catherine Bohart do her wonderful comedy show, <laughs> and w uh, the show quickly devolved into a bespoke roast <laughs> that I had not ordered. Is Every time I laughed, she'd be like, uh, "Oh, Nish, don't do that!" Now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, WB Yates. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> you fucking wish I called you WB Yates. <laughs> You've got to be a bit more voice. fiddly diddly do <laughs> as well. I don't make that sense of the it. problem, to be fair, the problem was you nicely came to support me, but then I felt defensive because it was going badly, so I just was a constant. It, it was not going badly. <laughs> Listen, this is probably not a conversation to have on your podcast, although do it, it doesn't seem to be the most structured podcast in human history. <laughs> I don't know why I'm concerned about hitting format points. <laughs> Helen just got her eggy tit out. <laughs> he had an omelette brassiere over here. <laughs> it was an excellent show. Thank you, that's And I nice. think what you, you, you all feeling that it was uh, adversely affected by your lateness is incorrect. It actually enhanced the experience for us. <laughs> and I, in, uh, I think the whole audience watch, enjoyed watching... Are you hitting on pro me? No. Yeah, it is. so yeah. gross. Like you can't have men on your podcast. <laughs> and the worst part, he didn't even pay for his ticket. Oh. Hey, women, it sold so out. I tried to donate money on the door, and she said, I'm not allowing it so I can tell everyone that you didn't pay. <laughs> You're not the only one who respect that. Thank you. Genuinely <laughs> respect that. I hey. can't believe this. Once again, people of colour are let down by white women. Fuck yeah. <laughs> This is the 2016 American election all over Yay! again. Yay! Hillary Clinton. Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> Nishi Kumar, welcome to our podcast. It's a delight to have you here. Are you having a good fringe? I'm having a lovely time. I arrived here uh, uh, three days, four days ago. So I, that's why I uh, feel Fuck full of you. the milk of human kindness. Fuck yeah. you. Oh, I'm having such a lovely time. I love being at the world's biggest arts festival. I hate it. I love being uh, surrounded by art. The last it's a veritable art bukkake all over my face. <laughs> and I'm taking it all. <laughs> the, la the last time I saw Nish, we were in Montreal together. Correct. We were watching the women's final for the Euros. Uh, as I call it, the final. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> and as I call it, Thanks lesbians for... on screen! Yeah. Yeah. Are they all lesbians? Yeah, but in my head they are. I fucking know. <laughs> I kept saying that I would love, I genuinely, I kept saying, like, I'd love to be married to a lady footballer. <laughs> like, I genuinely would, and Catherine kept being like, uh, no. That's, I'm afraid that's not going to happen for you. It's not in your future, my friend. <laughs> oh. Also, the worst, the most dispiriting part of my life, I think, not just that entire trip or indeed moment, was that at one point, one of them took off their tops and revealed a sports bra, and I and Nish had the same feeling at the same time, except he vocalised it, so we just went, bra! <laughs> Really, I don't think I've ever had the same thought as you ever. <laughs> Why? Made me feel sick. <laughs> Why is it when I do it, you're like, pet it away. <laughs> but when they do it, you're like, yeah. What? Why do you sing? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Happy Hog Day! Can you believe oh. that? Boy, this has turned into a real hog roast. <laughs> The eye contact as you snore <laughs> is genuinely one of the worst things. Yeah, I think, I know, I know. I think if someone was trying to extract information from me and they direct <laughs> eye contact with me and, and did a fucking pig noise, I would be like, I'll tell you everything. I will tell you everything. I want, in 2007, I had a wank in a porter cabin. I'll give you all the information. <laughs> to, 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 to what? To what? To what? To what? And why? Oh, it's because I was t had a temp job and <laughs> I, just, I had to break up the day. <laughs> I used to wank home in streaming. the accessorised stockroom on Oxford Street <laughs> all the time. I'm Did sure you work at accessorised? Yes, I was! Oh, <laughs> I, I feel that that's quite an important piece of information, what Helen. What is wrong with you both? Look, you... The I would CEO be... of accessorised is just storming out of the gig. <laughs> right that's right that's right. bad, that's bad. Helen wanks at least three times a day. Who what? Helen wanks at least three times a day. <laughs> respect, respect, brother. I don't know. 
Clay is a real who My Clay is a little stubborn nothing else. <laughs> That's it's not been, true. It, I've <laughs> seen it. <laughs> She's friendly. No. <laughs> Wait, not me. Who Clint. said her? Who said her? Who said it? Okay, we'll figure that out later. She's our, she's our Can I ask name? why you have seen her clitoris? Oh, I showed her. Yeah, oh, so right, one fine. time... One time Helen and I were at a professional gig in the green room with other comedians and Helen had had a one night stand to stand her up, a crazy. Don't get me and then Helen had, but Helen had done the gardening and was furious no one was going to see. Right, right. And so then Helen came to me without really asking for what? Consent. Consent. Yeah. And then she took her trousers down and I was met with our little purple friend. And then she thought it was only fair that I show hers mine too. I didn't want to, so she just tried to pull my dress. <laughs> I saw everything. <laughs> and so a beautiful friendship was born. I can't believe someone rolled their eyes at the use of the word consent. <laughs> the host of a podcast. I, honestly, I feel like this is the closest I'll ever be to being on Rogan. Like, yeah! Yes, please. You know, I watched my first Rogan the other day. What, Fucking which one was that? Obviously, trigger oh, yeah. on <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Oh, okay, for like, anyone who well, doesn't know, this is like the best thing of all time. So there are two guys who were like really bad at comedy. So they went right wing to try Allegedly. and prove a point. Um, fucking incredible. Um, what they're called, Francis Foster and Constantine Kisser. <laughs> full Insane. names, full names. Yeah, obviously, they're fucking neo No, but they genuinely think that the reason people don't like them is because of their wacky views and not their terrible dog shit jokes. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, that's very unfair. I think that the comedy industry is very biased against unfunny cunts. <laughs> and, I, and I think it's very unfair. Where is the fairness for people who are shit at comedy <laughs> in comedy? It's so true. So they have this podcast called Trigonometry on which they allegedly say incredibly offensive and what? I'm going to say transphobic things. It's and so good! Yeah. It's so mad! It they're, is fucking mental! They're real tits. But they went on Rogan and honestly they're just trying to act so cool. The moment when he's like, oh, I think I will take my jacket off and we're going <laughs> to smoke some weed actually. It's, you don't know. Okay. The, no, no. Um, Let me just say the best thing about it is aesthetically their studio so much nicer than ours. Yeah. <laughs> You were gonna go, which one is the right wing Chan Transpo podcast done by two dudes, and which one are the two girls talking about their clits? You would they look the way like an advert for made.com. <laughs> <laughs> no, really Mags like, rugs match a painting. It's they insane. have truly really funded that hate. They're such cunts. But the point is, they were on Rogan, and you watched it? Yes. How, it's Why? like two and a half, three hours long. Four hours. Four hours. <laughs> <laughs> I've sort of been saying that I'm going to do a, a sponsored watch along. <laughs> I did an hour 25 with Sunil Patel eating coleslaw. <laughs> Out of a bowl. And I was like, we've got to stop. I would genuinely watch the reverse feed from the screen of you and Sunil eating coleslaw watching Triggerpod on Rogan. <laughs> What I can't believe it. My, the one thing my agent said was, can you please stop starting more internal comedy beefs? <laughs> <laughs> I've immediately come on it and been like, fuck Trigger Pod. No, but seriously, <laughs> fuck Trigger Pod. Um, listen, we, we have, we've been starting... I can't believe we spent so much time hating on um, house... What are they called? Those boys that we hate? The slam down boys' housemates? Pappies. Thank you. Oh, um, there we go. <laughs> I was Wait, like, what, what, what boys what? do we hate? Like, <laughs> It, it, was a, it, wasn't, it wasn't real beef. It was like trying to generate some like Twitter beef. Why did I, I go so hard going? then? Uh, yeah, you really did go very hard. We, somebody quit the Patreon because of it. Fuck <laughs> <off>. <laughs> Wait, someone quit the Patreon because you started a fake Fuck beef. Fuck off. Yeah. I, don't point at me. It was Helen's fault. I like having drama around me and I wasn't having any drama for like so three So who weeks. did you start a beef with? Papi. But just to be clear, if you're a transphobe and you're on our Patreon, you can kindly fuck off. So that's <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait, Unless you you're so an executive producer, in which case, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. It's really nice. We'll send a mug. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I'm just really glad that we've clarified it was Papi's because I heard quite a different word. <laughs> No, I said, who did we start beef with? And I just said, oh my God. God. No! <laughs> no! Like, what the fuck is going on here? Bitch, <laughs> don't come on our podcast and do that. Don't do that. Listen, don't this do that. might be the worst podcast we've ever done. <laughs> Me, Ramesh and Ahir Shah are starting a sketch group called Packy's Fun Club. Okay. <laughs> Oh.
Well, Genuinely me eating sausage out of my bra <laughs> went down the <laughs> <laughs> I'm please laugh at Nish's jokes because it's his birthday in a minute. <gasps> I know. It is actually my birthday Isn't very it so soon. It's so exciting. Wait, what? It's, okay, can, how about you? Can, hey, well, you're already on it. I was going to say, can you count it down? But it turns out you got some fans yeah. in. Are you Nish's mom? It, did you know it was my birthday? Yeah, they said. Uh, they just Oh yeah, no, we, to be fair, we did say it was your yeah. birthday that we should probably remember that it's your birthday. So we, <laughs> yeah, I get it now. And what's even sadder is, who did I run into earlier? Was it you? And you were like, you just get loads of pie poppers and we'll all shoot them off at midnight. And I was like, I'll definitely do that. <laughs> <laughs> did my show, got absolutely fucked and now I'm here. I can't wait to celebrate turning 37 with a pint of beer and one of Helen's tits. <laughs> of birth and breastfeeding. <laughs> Fuck you! Isn't this like a, the perfect way to spend someone's birthday? With the homework? Because we're going to make it good in 20 minutes. Like, right? yeah. 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 Who do you want to have a lap dance from? <laughs> Pick your Choose. favourite three. Choose. <laughs> Choose. Could you imagine Choose. if you actually did? <laughs> yeah. Right. I'll have that lap dance. I'll have that on toast. <laughs> That, should Does I? Does anybody? I feel like we've never, we didn't discuss it before, and we've never done it before. But should we open Dance. the floor? I was gonna say no. open the floor for questions. <laughs> Wait, you want a question from one of these? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Is I that would crazy? be happy to solve a problem if someone has one. Oh, yeah, does anyone have a problem, a live problem that you need solving? No way does anyone actually have a that problem. That would be so fucking exciting. Anyone? Can I, you feel I, the tension in the no, room? It's, the, it's nothing like asking a group of British people if they have questions. <laughs> it genuinely is like the tensest. Honestly, they would rather watch us all drop our trousers and do a shit on the stage. Helen, no! No, Helen, no! Helen, no. Helen. Oh, no. Helen, oh, no! The thing is, the reason I, I forgot asked... who I was dealing with. <laughs> and we... The best thing is, I haven't really shit today, so I wouldn't have to push. <laughs> You are, and actually, the, the really gross part is just before you did all of that, I was like, this fun thing about solving a problem now is that we've kind of reversed roles at the fringe. Like, I'm fun and going out, and Helen's staying in and boring, and then you try to shit on the stage. I'm, like, I'm just not that fun, actually, and I don't wish to be. No, Nick, do you know this? I've been staying in this fringe and not going out and partying. Well, I did notice that I haven't seen you out and about. I've been increasing do you mean you my, heard cine her my cinema, cinema knowledge. Guess what she watched for the first time ever today? Uh, in, in preparation for this, I think it's indicative of how it's going. I watched The Green Mile. <laughs> party, party, Which party. I thought was going to be, like, big. <laughs> Can I? OK. And I have wasn't. so many questions. <laughs> Why did you think it was going to be, like, big? So, I've seen a Tom Hanks film before. Yeah. And it was, like, big. Yeah. I've also seen, seen The seen Wizard of Oz, The Yellow Brick Road, The Green <laughs> Mile. <laughs> Both colours, both the thing you can walk on, and I was like, that'll be nice. <laughs> Awful time on Death Row, though, Awful. She came and in when and she was the like... Jingles dies, what the fuck? <laughs> and then I had to put an egg in my bra and go out for the day. Can I just Awful. remember, you didn't wank to the Green Mile, did you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Like, ready for the podcast? Death Rosebud. Like, <laughs> this is like when I watched Band of Brothers and realised how bad World War II was. Yeah! Because <laughs> I thought it'd be so much better than World War I because it's their second time. <laughs> it was so bad. Helen, it's a war, not I the know. Terminator films. I know. I haven't seen them watching those next week. <laughs> well, let me, let, me, let me clear up one thing. It's nothing like Kindergarten Cop. <laughs> is so good. I watched that recently. That just came on Netflix too with Arnold Schwarzenegger. What else have you, what other stops have you made on this cinematic odyssey? Citizen Kane. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> famously, famously bad. Genuinely really bad. The Departed. Long. <laughs> That's fair. Long That's fair. and like just policey. Um, seven. Yeah. Very seven. good. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Recommend that. It's a bit formulaic. Someone else said that, so I'm saying it now. <laughs> I knew you just learned that word. I was like, no fucking way. It's a bit formulaic. 
Oh, oh yeah, the classic cinema formula of a serial killer mimicking the seven deadly sins. <laughs> Oh, we can't move for the, that plot over and over again. Oh my, it's basically when Harry met Sally. It's so nice having you here. I feel so rested. <laughs> and like, then oh. I watched Joker and Wild Child. <laughs> Wild Child is a fucking classic. <laughs> Sweaty upper <laughs> lip alert. <laughs> you seen it? I, I have not seen Wild oh, Child. You what must. the fuck? I have seen Joker, and it's one of the worst films I've ever seen. Like, it was like watching King of Comedy and Taxi Driver on two televisions that were next to each other playing at the same time. And the only enjoyable bit was I went with Mish, Daniel Kitson. none Kinsen. of these lesbians have seen those films. Well, it, yeah, it's, it's Wait, a terrible Wait, is Taxi Driver Queen we? Latifah? No. Okay. no, Taxi Driver is not Taxi. Queen Latifah. <laughs> Taxi Driver is Queen Latifah, and who is it? Queen Latifah, and yeah, it is. You fucking moron. <laughs> It's I'm Mish and I've gone to uni. Okay. Queen Latifah and who, babe? It's, it's, and Robert De Niro. It's ta- <laughs> and Robert De Niro. Queen Latifah and well, Robert De Niro. Oh, yeah, I always forget the deleted Man. scene uh, with Queen Latifah in it from Taxi Driver. Taxi. Taxi when he says, are you called. talking to me? And then Queen Latifah goes, yes, I was talking to you. <laughs> Do you want this panini? I, I went to see the film Joker with my friend Daniel and about uh, halfway through there's a point in it where the guy says I thought comedians were supposed to be funny and he was turning to me to go that's not stopped you and before he could even turn I told him to go fuck himself <laughs> and that was the only good bit of the film Joker nice 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 yeah Awful. it wasn't my favourite and the Helen what have you learned from the Edinburgh Fringe um you know what? You can walk up a hill and eat if you practice breathing. Because <laughs> that is something consistently over the years. Does anyone here live in Edinburgh or in the hilly cities? Yeah, really tricky to have a kebab at our pace on a hill. Yeah. Going down, I fucking thrive. If anything, the motion of the step down pushes it further back. <laughs> and it's like deep strike How practice. How bad is your posture? Uh, <laughs> With these? Awful. Yeah, okay, okay. But going up a hill, I can now do it with a kebab because I breathe every other step by every three steps. <laughs> smart, uh, smart, smart. Very smart, very yeah. smart. I what tell you, you what, learn? It's fascinating Mish- being here and sat between the two of you because it's like interacting with the two halves of my brain. Because... <laughs> On the one hand, I am a neurotic ex-debater, but on the other hand, I'm also disgusting. Yeah! <laughs> what? Why, what? Why, 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 eating a kebab up a hill. I related to that so viscerally. Because yeah. <laughs> it's not easy. Because of the breathing. Because of the breathing. What? You've got to breathe through the meat. Because if you breathe wrong, it goes into your lung and you, it doesn't get out. You don't, what do we say? Say it with me. You don't breathe in the babby. You don't breathe in the babby. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Thought he's going to be on my side. No, it's, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> he gave me to the dark side and I'm never getting him back. We got hey, uh, I think we should answer a listener problem. But because I want no to one know has a what question. You learned. I want to know what you learned. Yeah, what did you learn? It's going to be sincere. Prepare for no, it wasn't. I was no, it gonna... was don't, don't trust your landlady to not lock you in your flat. <laughs> Can you talk to me don't about do how that happened? Well, I what I didn't through. say on stage today was that I was with another lesbian who actually snuck out the window for me because I, I was wearing a dress. But I, on the stage, had to claim her... Uh, escape as my own because I couldn't justify Hello? Everyone is just, I tell you I what happened Everybody's, there. everybody's mentally like, trying to calculate who the lesbian was. Yeah. <laughs> I know! <laughs> it's the new format I'm pitching to BBC Three. <laughs> Who's that lesbian? <laughs> and I can tell you now, she is amongst you today. <laughs> <laughs> Is she? Is she? No, she's not. No, she's not. That'd be so sick, though, wouldn't it? We could do Guess Who with, like, who's that lesbian? <laughs> Fucking dad. Actually, we couldn't play that with this crowd. No. Everyone will be up the whole time. I'm the lesbian. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't know if I... I don't know if I should say this. Go for it. Well, I, I, I know who it is because <laughs> I you waved dare. to you two nights ago and you didn't see me because you were making out with her. <laughs> and I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it's We're not, not like Sandy Tosping or anything, but it's a good one. It's a good I one. fucking wish. 
I was a good one. I Powerful, wish. but not I like. I was literally like, I was like, hey, Catherine, whoa! <laughs> In the assembly club oh, bar. No. <laughs> in an industry right. bar, you fucking right. idiot! Was right in the middle of the room. <laughs> well, I'm a good No, not super, good guess. <laughs> you will be open to other guesses. <laughs> no, we're not. Yes, I'm we so, are. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And I learned I can drink more than I thought I could. <laughs> Look at her crossing her leg, she's beaten like an absolute. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, you do a problem. <laughs> 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 didn't mean that. It turns you know out this is exactly what I wanted to do on my birthday. <laughs> hugs, 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 Genuinely, the worst part is the first person who spoke to me after that is your girlfriend. <laughs> and she goes, the community needed this. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, well, for a lot of bisexuals who were just stuck at home with a man. <laughs> so the show is important. <laughs> So it's not all bad just for me. Yes, okay. I, am, I do live with a bisexual and she, I think, is starting to regret her decisions. Yeah. <laughs> we Sorry. love your bisexual, she's been on our podcast. We love her yeah. so much. Amy and Ed, everybody. Hey. Hey. She's sexy. Why does she? Listen, oh. that's a... <laughs> Happy birthday. birthday. Yes, happy birthday. Oh, happy. did you guys not get the rights to the happy birthday song? <laughs> <laughs> You had to improvise. Of course, we sing the traditional happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> we can't afford PRS. Happy birthday. That was genuinely my best shot at this point. <laughs> and I was trying to go in sync with Helen. <laughs> what was I to do? Let's have a problem. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of problems. I feel so, there's so much judgment in the room. I thought you guys would be happy for me. Fuck you. <laughs> You're just trying to figure out how are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. None of your business. Though. Be smart about it. Go on Instagram, look at tags, look at show times. You can figure it out. She's not on Instagram. It's not going to be that She's not difficult. on Instagram. Is she not on Instagram? No. Yeah, they, okay. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Lesbian stealth. It's just, in, I stop it. I guarantee about six of these women will have a figured out within two hours. <laughs> and it's fair play to you guys. <laughs> Lesbian Stealth would be such a good name for a band. No, yeah, but, but, but truly, so like, there's no better sleuthers than lesbians. I do, I am now concerned. Um, or like a ride at Thorpe Park. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh. Lesbian <laughs> Stealth. Like, you've got that girl on there, it's a dipper, but there's also like a finger block. <laughs> like, on the seat, and you're, as you're going up, it goes like, and you're like, ah! <laughs> Andrew, that problem, my darling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I think this, this may be one of the most... My girlfriend won't acknowledge my existence on her podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes sense. Andrew! This, this may Andrew! Be... I'm coming! Andrew! Andrew! Damn it, Andrew! <laughs> Andrew! Damn it, Andrew! Damn it, Andrew! Damn it, Andrew! <laughs> okay. I regret having a pint before I came on stage. <laughs> I, I saw you having a pint in assembly 40 minutes ago. <laughs> Don't make out that's the first pint. <laughs> I regret not having a pint before we came. Okay, okay uh, this is from F. Hi, Hi F. F. This may be one of the most relevant questions you've ever got. Um, me and my girlfriend are in a very happy two-year relationship. Congratulations, it already feels so relevant. <laughs> <laughs> We are moving in together in September. Yes, I know, crazy that as a queer couple we have lasted so long before moving in together. Ha, all right. Oh. Fuck you. <laughs> we are in an open relationship, and my partner, let's call her Rose, has just begun sleeping with men for the first time. Fuck. The, <laughs> the issue is, is that the men Rose chooses to sleep with are mediocre male comedians. <laughs> It's, it's definitely not me because uh, I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> it's not one of the four names. <laughs> the worst thing about that is it's not even four, it's three. <laughs> Let's 
move on. How do I stop her from making such bad decisions? She's so hot and could get quite literally any man. Please help. I mean, I've got a simple answer to this. What is it? Yeah, me too. Go on. Okay, so you search them on podcasts and you go to the least listened to podcasts they've done, which are usually the most earnest, sincere ones right. about that process. And then you play that on repeat around her until she loses her mind. And then she can't fuck anything anymore because she's mad. <laughs> Fucking good advice. Door number Thank two? <laughs> I, I think that uh, I think we need to hit the, see a list of these male comedians. <laughs> it would be really beneficial for all of us. Let's not guess, though. Yeah, let's. <laughs> yeah. No, let's guess. <laughs> um, I have some thoughts. What are your thoughts? My thoughts, first well, of all, are: What are your motivations, F? Because it feels like you shouldn't care about the quality of the man that she chooses for herself in your open relationship. <sighs> B, B. Wow. Well, if you, you, you respect her and you trust her and she's a person that you love, maybe she's capable of making those decisions herself. Secondly, if I was in an open relationship, I would personally, my concern would be, I don't want them to find someone better than me. <laughs> Doesn't sound like that's gonna happen. <laughs> and number three, sometimes it's nice to do a bit of charity. <laughs> um, and what charity work have you been doing, Kate? <laughs> She was really rattling a bucket in the assembly bar last night. <laughs> I'm fucking so sorry. hate you both. I'm so sorry. I still appreciate that you think that she's punching and not the other way around. That's it. <laughs> um, I, um, what's your advice? I don't know that I have the emotional constitution for an open relationship. That's not the question. And that, so Let I respect about himself. First. I respect anyone who has done that, uh, but also. <laughs> Where possible, I would avoid sleeping with male comedians. <laughs> That's my advice for everything. Uh, where possible, I would avoid sleeping with male comedians. Oh, I've got way more practical advice than that. That's fucking mental. Are you recording this, Andrew? Okay. <laughs> yes, I mean, I think they're recording all of this, Helen. <laughs> but this isn't going out anywhere, is it? No. <laughs> it's a live stream. <laughs> Whoopsie, whoopsie! <laughs> Is with it next podcast. up? Uh, no, it's with Monkey Barrel. Oh, thank God, next up have told me if I show my bra one more time. <laughs> I'm in breach of contract. They'll have to pay you more, come in on. In breach of contract at this point. <laughs> That's the exact words they use. They were like, you've got to say if it's nudity. I'm like, it's not nudity, it's nude. Okay. Anyway, whatever, it's a different What's thing. What's the rest of your advice? Okay, so if the podcast thing doesn't lesbians. work, then you make sure they're signed up to a thing called the Black Hour Up the Creek on Thursday <laughs> nights. It's where comedians go on stage and they get five minutes, but after two minutes, uni students can boo them off. <laughs> and then it goes black out and they go, wah, wah, and it's dehumanizing, and they, you don't want to sleep with anyone after that. I also say King Gong's a great shout. Yeah, Watching yeah. people get booed off is very dehumanizing. That's and also, horrible. like, you won't respect What's them after wrong that. With you? Also, tell them they've got a job on a TV show, tell them where the meeting is, and then show up and go, psych! <laughs> and then they lose all confidence and they won't want to fuck anyone. Here's the thought, let's do and then, else drop One more, one more. Oh. When in doubt, put them in a well. <laughs> always a well, always a well. So if you agree with Helen, give us a cheer. Yeah. 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 If you agree with Nisha's blanket policy of not sleeping with men like him, give us a cheer. Yeah. And me? Oh, Mine is the best advice. You know that in your heart of hearts. Why do you want F to struggle? Why are you yelling at them? Because I'm just, I just think, mind no. your business. If they're happy, they can have sex with whoever they want. That's the point of an open relationship, isn't it? What about? I'm looking at the queerest people in the room. I'm like, you, you have a mullet, am I right? Fuck's sake. Andrew. Yeah. Thank you for the question. Um, do You're you want to do one more problem? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can solve this one in a sentence, whatever it is. I do have another problem lined One up. more problem. Do you have one for us? Uh, I do, but it is... Wait, does somebody have a problem in the room? <gasps> yes! Oh, my God, this is so exciting. It's happening. It's live. We're doing this. Okay, come <laughs> it's on. It's a room problem. Hello, what's your name? I'll take this for a You have to speak into the microphone. Sarah. Hi, everybody say hi, Sarah. Hi, hi Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, so nice to have you here. What's your problem? Before I start, uh, in two minutes, it's your back. Very exciting. Thank you. Okay, I'll be quick. He's been platformed enough. Come okay. on, Sarah. <laughs> so, um, earlier this year, I moved jobs, but was immediately signed off. 
And a lot of my colleagues don't know that I was signed off and okay. ended up in a psychiatric hospital. Okay. I met them all last week and they were all like, oh, Sarah, how are you doing? And, you know, I kind of was like, do I tell them okay. that I was hospitalized for mental health things? Yeah. Or do I just let them believe that I was having a great time uh, in a different department? Um, you oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Bauer, you have set yourself up. For... You like somebody who signs up for a Helen. marathon after they watch the hundred meters. Wait, wait. But it's such Helen. a good answer. Wait, Man. first of all, round of applause for Sarah for her honesty. <laughs> Second of all, round of applause for Sarah for being here. We're talking to Sarah right now. It's insane that you keep bringing it up. I'm sorry for saying insane. Happy birthday, but we're throwing Sarah first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, birthday. We'll, 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 let's defer my birthday for a couple of minutes. Number three. I think you're really cool and badass. I've also been in a psychiatric hospital, and I think that not enough people get to say, hey, look, we're still alive. But um, in the meantime, let, before I tell you, because what do I have except, <laughs> except life experience and compassion, um, <laughs> Before we get to the empathy section, let's hear Helen's one-line okay. answer. I've got a one-line answer, and I've also got a funny anecdote about a psychiatric hospital. <laughs> wow. That sounds problematic. Let's go! Okay, Next stop, one... cancelled town. <laughs> my one-line answer is 100% be like, yeah, I was getting the fucking psychiatric hospital, and then take your bra off and run around like this until you get the desk you want, all the snacks you want, and then live, let them all live in fear around you. 100% that is the best option you've got there. Give me a cheer if you agree with Helen. Hey! hey. Oh, you're, that's not good. Okay, and your anecdote? Okay, so my friend's cousin was like, they needed to get them into psychiatric hospital, but the thing was they were really paranoid that people were coming to get them, but the thing is the whole family were coming to get them to put them in psychiatric <laughs> hospital, and it was an absolute nightmare, but so fun. Okay. <laughs> Okay, listen up. I can't really do it because I've only done nights in there and then they're like, go home. Like, do you understand you do the rest of the ward? <laughs> My advice is uh, be open and honest about it. Being Having to have a stay in a psychiatric hospital is no different from having to stay in a normal hospital. And True. if you'd broken your leg and had to stay in hospital, you wouldn't lie about that. So why lie about this? Get them all to sign your head like a cast. <laughs> Feel better soon, Helen. Just get sorry. <laughs> That's genuinely amazing. Um... <laughs> The only thing I, w I hear you, Nish, and I think that's very righteous and yep. correct and lovely, will that's say... That's my vibe. Yeah, will say <laughs> the only person who has to live with the, uh, like the long-term consequences of you telling them is um, you. And while it's very easy to say in a room like this where everybody's cool and queer and Nish, um, <laughs> uh, you, can, that you can... Straight that lame Nish Kumar should, made several <laughs> comments. That you should tell them um, I think the real world is sometimes harder and also sometimes a people's assholes get in a knot when you say it. True. And um, I think that, I, don't, I also think we should reframe it. I don't think it's lying if you choose to have privacy. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's probable that if you do say it in the office, at least half of the office will be like, I have also got a lived experience like that and I feel better about it because you said that. Mm -hmm. Also, nobody gets to say shit to you about it. You have HR, yes? <laughs> Good, okay, just checking before you say anything. Um, do, they, do they know? Uh, I think so. Okay, I think that's the first person I would tell because they might have uh, an action plan for this in practice. Yes, it's boring and practical, but I am right. Um, <laughs> and the other thing is, um, you have to, going forward, assume that sometimes you'll have the equivalent of like a jippy leg after you've broken it, i.e. some bad days. And do you want to contextualize that in the sense of them thinking that you've been in hospital? That's up to you. You're, there's no wrong answer. It's your fucking life. You can do what you want. But mainly, truly, those are the worst. And you got through it. And I'm so impressed. Nice. Nice. I'd also still do the bra thing and get the snacks you want, but it's 100%. Why is all your advice bra based? <laughs> Any, uh, <laughs> I've got no answer for the first time in my life. Wow, I silenced Helen Bauer. Whoa! Finally! It took a man! Good! <laughs> As God intended. Happy birthday to you! Oh dear. Happy birthday to you! 
the bike the road someday. Happy birthday, dear Mishy! Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday to you. You're very old. Thank you very much, everybody. That's very nice That's of you. Nice. And now you have to make a wish. Oh, actually, why don't we do some birthday traditions? Okay, like beats? No, like from your house to my house. From your house to my house? Yeah, okay, so in my house we have it one... <gasps> Fuck off, that's so nice! Somebody bought me a present! Are you fucking kidding? No Happy way. birthday! That's so nice! You that's legend! Adorable. That's so nice! Happy birthday! Don't Thank eat it all you. in one go! Oh my god, there's a Kit Kat! That's and there's a... some Candy King smileys! What? Oh that's so my nice! God. <laughs> Luckily, they're both sealed, so we know <laughs> that only the packaging is covered in jizz. <laughs> So Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Oh. I really appreciate that. That's Do you want to play nice. the Bohart birthday game? What's the Bohart birthday game? I don't know what the Bohart birthday it's game is. It's from my house. In my house, we play the same game every single year. The BBG. You got three questions. You got to answer them quick and fast. Question number one. Best thing that happened to you or that you did in the last year? Oh, the best thing. Oh, I did some. Uh, I, I, did, I, did, I managed to complete my tour. Which yes. I was very stressed about because it was earlier in the year and it was during COVID. Okay, well so it was done. All very stressful. That's very good. And we managed to get through it. Yeah. We did it all. It was very nice. Best thing about aging? Best thing about aging? Oh, you know, it's just uh, I don't want to use the word wisdom because it's not accurate. Yeah, but, but all it is is just out. eventually, if you step in dog shit in the same place, eventually you learn to walk around the dog shit, and that's all getting older is. <laughs> nice. You're like, oh. I've stepped in, I stepped in this dog shit before. You learn to enjoy the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> the You're... warmth of it, the square. I hate you. I... You're a poet. Yes. <laughs> Question number three, what's your main goal for the next year? What one, one thing would you like to do that's not to do with work? Uh, my one goal uh, in the next year is before to... Before you turn 38. Before I turn 38 40. is to... Uh, 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 is to have just a great time. Nope, that's too big. That's nice. No, I would like to... Uh, <laughs> I would like to uh, uh, do uh, more recreational activities and focus uh, less on my work life. Do you hey, want to come to nice. Tokyo Disney by Sea in Japan with me? Yes! yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I really do! That's all I want to do is to go in here for a couple of Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. Really it's amazing. No one's ever said yes to her before, right? Fucking amazing. And you're gonna have to pay. Um, <laughs> no, I'm trying to get this deal for Trusty Hog. So we had a meeting the other day, like a professional meeting for Trusty Hog. They were like, it. do you guys she have any sponsored it. ads? And we were like, no. But they were like genuinely asking us about doing sponsored ads so we can get yeah, some for money. Sky cream and, and then I was and like, like, like can we show? <laughs> they were like, why don't you advertise some moon tops and some fucking ointment? They so weren't saying what you wanted. I said morally. What a I damning indictment on this audience. <laughs> advertise jigsaw puzzles and I think that would work and they went there's no market for online jigsaw <laughs> Stella. and then I said we should go to Disneyland yeah. and do a trusty hog sponsored by Disneyland trip where yeah. we like vlog the whole thing and then Catherine went what and then everyone in the meeting with notepads out put them away <laughs> only Andrew was like that's a good idea Helen <laughs> And the idea that left. I would spend my holiday from Trusty Hogs with you is insane. We're gonna ride Face Mountain together holding hands. We're not. Okay, <laughs> um, do you have any birthday traditions from the Bower above? <laughs> Let me guess, everyone takes off their bras. <laughs> Baby, my mum don't wear no bra. <laughs> She's a free spirit. <laughs> My mum is currently on one of her spiritual walks where she walks along as a 68 year old woman with loads of young men doing like the Camino way and she like, um, what's it called, safety pins a bra onto her bag to let people know that she's available. It, that's she's a, a that's fucking a whore. That's a religious pilgrimage. Oh, she knows. <laughs> Wait, available for sex? My mummy? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically, wow. her and my dad got divorced a couple of years ago because she realised that he doesn't know what kind of lingus is and it'd never come up. And then she got really upset about it. But he thinks what happens is someone at her book club taught her the word mansplaining. <laughs> it's a whole thing. <laughs> it's hard to know who's wrong. Annie! <laughs> I pick my dad. <laughs> Any traditions? Any, uh, from the Bauer household for birthdays? No. Beats, just beats. 
Just not beat. beat. So you get like 37 punches. Cause oh, actually seven. hitting. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah we, no, knew, no. we knew what the beats meant. No one was like, you get Dr. Dre's headphones. <laughs> <laughs> trying to think of anything nice. Yeah, I think we had a cake. A cake. God, my childhood sounds really sad right now, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. It's a childhood we ride a pony. <laughs> <laughs> and the pony would have a bra pinned to it. So everyone knew the pony was available for sex. So good! Does anybody else have any birthday traditions in their list? Put up your hand. Anyone? Is it just my family? What the fuck's going on? Is that, is that really your no? birthday tradition? You do three questions? Yeah, I am see the dinner, sure, every time. Yeah, we do three questions well, every what time. What sort of morons asking a five-year-old was the best thing you did in the last no, year? We like, did, no, we didn't as we got older, because it like, makes you think, oh, what has been good that's happened, and what do I actually want to make my priority for the next year? And okay. also, ageing isn't the worst thing. I'm going to do it to you now for this fringe, OK? OK. What is the best thing that has happened to you so far this fringe? <laughs> And I am saying with? nothing. And, and who were you with? I have never been more tense. Next question. Um, what are you I looking forward to no, no. doing no, no, next no, no. <laughs> I can answer. Uh, the best thing that's happened to this fringe. Uh, Getting fudded up through the Sweet stupidest. little mask sub. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was with Mish Kumar <laughs> in the assembly bar. That's your answer. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Fucking pathetic. Yeah. Second question. I forgot what it was already. <laughs> <laughs> it was something about um, careers. No, not careers. What is the best thing about doing your third hour at the Fringe? Oh, God. What is the best thing about doing your third hour at the Fringe? That it's not your first? Fucking doing your first is the worst. You're so scared all the time. I couldn't give a fuck now. I said, like, I'm really, really pleased that people have come, and I, but I'm really proud of my show, and if they don't like it, that's cool. They should just see somebody else. Good for you. Yeah, you cared so little, you didn't even turn up on time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I was trying to escape a very difficult room. <laughs> And, and, and what are you looking forward to for the Fringe next year, Catherine? I'm like, um, who knows? <laughs> who That's got the ring of someone who's planning on taking show. a year off. <laughs> I am so excited for next year already. Yeah? Yeah, I think what? I'm going to do the Auschwitz show, finally. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so Helen, sick of Helen, explain the off. context, please. Oh, please. I went on please. a school trip to Auschwitz when I was 14, and I wanted to do a show about it, and the Pleasants put me in a bunker again. <laughs> and it was just like, everyone was like, you can't do it in a bunker, so I'm going to go to the attic. <laughs> announcements were done because the last two recordings you were so tired you forgot. Yeah. So I like, messaged Andrew being like, she's fucking lost her man. <laughs> we're fucking living the dream. Okay, so a parish announcement is where Catherine gets to talk and I'm not allowed to speak. <laughs> That's not what it is. Not well then what is it? <laughs> I don't know if you're here, but to the person who sent me the literal definition of a parish announcement, you are appreciated and I will be reading it out soon. Parish I'm looking forward to this level of sensitivity being brought to the story of Auschwitz. <laughs> Not just Auschwitz, Birkenau. <laughs> <laughs> Parish announcements include corrections, <laughs> apologies, and announcements. Oh yeah, corrections and apologies. Well, what's that? Corrections. About? Salman Rushdie is alive. Apologies. <laughs> Sorry about the Salman Rushdie being dead stuff. <laughs> announcements. He's not dead. We though. know. Okay. Announcement. Um, we're doing a new, another live show when, Andrew? What? In London, in October. Yes, on the 7th of October, um, as part of the Cheerful Earful um, <laughs> Festival. Yes. <laughs> Helen and I will be filling in for Helen Bell. <laughs> <laughs> who fucking say! <laughs> has double booked herself. 
and I reckon so. That's out oh. towards Ruffley Ballam and the 7th of October. Tickets are available. In Ballam? Near, near enough, yeah. I'm so close to that. Sick. <laughs> John, I'm telling tell people, people where, where you, you live. live. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not in Ballam, I'm in Camberwell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Barry Clice, my cousin lives in Ballam, Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> Second parish announcement, are, are you doing a tour or is it a little Soho oh, I am doing a tour of Madame Good Tit and the Soho Theatre. Thank you. No. Dates? No, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a website. Yes, you do. Hey, hey Nish, anything that you need to plug? Uh, I am, um, if you live in London, I'm recording my show on October the 17th. So you were going to say seventh, and I was like, fuck you, man. Seventeenth? <laughs> <laughs> That's different, yeah. fine. Yeah, um, and uh, don't get too excited. It's entirely a self financed vanity project. <laughs> yeah! Exciting. That's exciting. That's exciting. We also have another gig list when, Andrew? Our next live gig list in London is? Uh, it's the end of September at the Bill Murray. Uh, they, at the excellent. end of September. End of Turn September up for the whole Murray. of the last week of September. <laughs> 25th of September, right? <laughs> I do not have yeah. these dates in my diary. <laughs> <laughs> Very annoying. Fuck. Helen's going on a walking sex tour with her mother. <laughs> Actually, she's been trying to convince me to go to the Glastonbury Goddess Temple. There's just women naked going, your body's amazing. That sounds, I'll go with her. That sounds really good. <laughs> she fucking uh, loves it. I would go. Last thing, um, one, we have a bucket and a card machine at the door. If you've had a nice time, by all means, you can put some cash in there. If you don't know, stress about it. We'll just make intense eye contact with each and every one of you. And Helen does tend to shout. Um, also, I need money because I'm going out tomorrow night to watch Shannon Matthews the musical, and I'm so excited. <laughs> so has anyone seen it? Is that what the gasp was? No, I wouldn't go either then. Yeah, <laughs> just judged her. Yeah, <laughs> and um, and then the last announcement. I am going to do something sincere, just because I feel the need to come back. To I'm sorry, Helen. I just I just wanted to say that personally going to a psychiatric hospital is the best thing that's ever happened to me and it saved my fucking life and if I didn't do it I wouldn't be having the best time ever here and also I thought life would never get better so if you need to do that or you have done that or you're gonna do that or you know somebody does it I think you should be like good fucking decision man because that's so cool. The end. That was good. That was nice. Say goodbye. Bye. Goodbye everybody and goodbye. may hogs go with you. Yeah.